guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Dolly, and I know I haven't posted for a while, but in today's video, I am happy to announce that that Wickery Eclipse is back. Now, I know it's been back for a couple of days already, but I am finally just now recording a actual video about it instead of doing a stream. So, in today's video, I thought that it would be a good idea to tell you guys the quickest and easiest way to farm candies in Royal High. Let's get started. Hey. Alrighty, so obviously to start the video, I obviously have to, oh my god. I can't, I have to wait 19 minutes. But the first step to getting a ton of candy is to collect the oh my oh my goodness oh my goodness is to collect the candy bowls that are scattered all around the royal high campus now the first bowl of candy is at the front right near the honor roll and you just collect it and i believe it gives you about a hundred so let's see four or two and it goes up to 469 so it gives you a uh, hundred or less at least a hundred no at most 100 the second bowl of candy is in the front office next to poppy let's go alrighty so to find the bowl of candy you're just gonna want to walk up to poppy's desk and then take the candy from her bowl now the cooldown is an hour so I do suggest consistently doing this because look it gives you a ton of candy and I'm already at 12,000 just from doing this for about four days and it's really sufficient so the next bowl of candy is in the locker courtyard in the rainy day classroom so let's go alrighty so the candy bowl in the rainy day classroom is over here on the teacher's desk you just want to take the candy and the candy icon does not appear here for some reason so you'll see how much candy you get in the next round we're going to which is going to be the dormitory bathing quarters because there is also a candy bowl there there's also one in the teacher's lounge that i cannot show because i do not have access to it but when I do get access to it, I will post the location down in my community posts. Let's go to the bathing quarters. Alrighty, the next location is right over here on this little table. You're just going to want to press E and collect it. Now, as you can see, I already have 12,781 candies, which shows that this is very, very, very profitable. Now, the second step to getting a ton of candy is to Apple Bob. Now, I know there is a 10 plays per hour limit, but I found a trick that sometimes works sometimes doesn't work to do more than 10 tries let's go ahead all the way to wickery cliffs alrighty we've arrived at wickery cliffs and you're going to want to pick any apple bobbing station it doesn't matter i like to pick this one right over here because i've just had better luck so you're going to want to go on either this end or this end of either one it doesn't matter i like to do the first one because you have less chances of getting an apple sometimes but anyways what you're going to want to do is click the play button and if you do not see an apple before you go down jump it works every time because it doesn't really like calculate that you have bobbed to get an apple it, it's like you're moving your head to get one so what you're going to want to do is press the play button and when you go left right if you see an apple like this if you see an apple like this before you jump you you've bought for an apple and you stay there but if you don't see an apple then you are going to jump because that counts as one of your plays. So I'm gonna look, look, look. Okay, look, I got an apple. Look, a nice apple bobbin. You won 50 candies. 50, 50. I wish I gave it was 50. You won 15 candies. Oh my god, look. I have won 60,444 diamonds. And I want another apple. So that's two plays. So when you get here, you will do that. And if it still says 10 plays per hour, um, don't worry about it. And just go and do the next step which is to trick or treat for about 10 to 20 minutes sometimes a half an hour i do 10 to 20 just because it's quicker that way and you can also listen to music as you do this so i'm going to write down how many candies i have now and then farm for 10 to 20 minutes just doing trick or treating but i suggest taking off all of your accessories and just making a plain outfit so find an outfit that you can take all the accessories off easily like i want to use my main fit and then just no that's a bad idea my favorite fit and then let's take off all of the accessories 
Alrighty, I have finished an outfit for trick or treating. So I suggest wearing short heels or no heels. I went with short heels because I wanted to still look a little bit cute. So what you're going to want to do for trick or treating is knock on two to three doors at once, sometimes four. So make sure you're sprinting. And um, do not walk or run over the leaf house, even if you didn't mean to. It's really annoying. You're going to have to press run again. So you're going to ring. Make sure to look behind you. Ring. And then ring. Then you're going to want to go back and collect all of the candies. Now you can see that it's a bit easier since you have short heels or no heels so you won't kick all the candy away. And maybe fly sometimes if you think it's going to despawn. And you just keep doing this for about 10 to 20 minutes. I'll be back! Okay so during those 10 minutes I was able to get 500 candies just from trick or treating in only those 10 minutes. Now I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but trust me, if you do this for about 30 minutes, you will most likely get up to 1,500 candies for a half an hour. The next step to our candy farming routine is, you guessed it, to do ghost hunting. Now to do this, if you want to be in a private server, I suggest getting one to two more friends with you so you can get the big ghost, preferably one more. If you're in a public server, there's no worry, and you can just play and you will have a lot of help around you. Once you've made it to the Blackwood Manor and you're on a private server by yourself because you have no friends to play with, you can just get one of these two ghosts and they should give you about 108 candies alone. Now, I suggest doing this part of the routine for about 15 to 30 minutes because that is the recommended time that I suggest. I'm going to do it for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and tell you guys how much candy I got. Alrighty, I just found for 15 minutes and I got, I'm right now at 13,712, which means I gained 212 candies from that maybe. I'm, I could be wrong, I will make sure I do the math correctly when I put the text on screen. Thank you all so, so much for watching today's video. I hope that my far my farming routine helped you all into getting more candies, and I hope that you all get the amount of candies that you want. Make sure to like and subscribe and share this video so other people can farm even more too. I love you guys so, so, so much. Bye!